Hey everybody, prepared to wander out in the woods today and uh, I'm going to be doing a review for you of this. This is the Helicantech Numbat. It's their bushcraft line chest pack and uh, we're going to be taking a closer look at it, so stick around. So I'm out hiking today and uh, I wanted to show you this chest pack that I just got from from uh, Helicantech. Uh, this is their from their bushcraft line. This is called the Numbat, and um, it is a well, it's a chest pack that holds all your essentials while you're out hiking around. And I know that there's a lot of these hiking these chest packs on the market today, and the originator is the Hill People Gear. We can't get around that. That's those are the guys who started this this kind of phenomenon with these these chest packs and then since then other companies have been coming out making their own version a lot of them have been copying the hill people gear version and um, really not being uh, too too ashamed about it they've been just outright copying them and which which I I don't know I have a little bit of a problem with I guess um, but the the Helicon Tech is a lot different than the the hill people gear kit bag it has a lot of different features has a different configuration and so the concept of a kit bag or a chest pack um, is definitely in the court of hill people gear they're the ones that came up with that that whole um that whole line but uh Helicon Tech has come out and they've done their own version of it and they put their own um, features into it so it makes it a different enough that it's not a copy and that's what I like about this thing it is not a copy so what I want to do today is just go through the features of this pack show you what it looks like and talk to, about, talk to you about how it feels when wearing it because I think that's going to be important too is the comfort level so let's take a look a little bit closer look at this thing first thing you notice is that there are attachment points on the outside of this pack there is molly looping on the front molly looping down and below on the bottom of the pack there is cinch cord so you, and molly looping so you can actually attach a knife or maybe roll up a small poncho or something like that put that underneath here and carry it there uh, two outside pockets that are stretchy material in here I've got my compass with my um, ranger beads attached so I can actually do a pace count I've got a small clip-on light that's designed to clip onto a baseball cap got that up here and then I've got my ham radio attached to this pocket and then dummy corded to a Grimlock at the bottom here. Okay, so we went through the outside of the pack. Not, not a lot of, <clears throat> to go over, just the molly webbing that goes down the front, molly webbing that goes down the bottom, the cinch cord that goes down the bottom. And then the back has this nice padded air mesh kind of uh, material for breathability there are quick release buckles all the way around every one of these is a quick release buckle so you can remove the harness completely which is I think a nice feature you can't do that with the hill people gear but you can with this one <clears throat> moving to the inside we have an organizer panel right here with lots of pockets there's one big pocket back there there's a pocket here, there's elastic in the front, same goes here, pocket there, big pocket behind it, elastic in the front. Same situation over here, you have one big pocket, and then smaller pockets, divide that up front. So lots of room for organization. I've got a Leatherman tool here, I've got some flagging tape, I've got some, uh, some knot tying cards for quick access. Flipping it around, there's a zipper pocket to secure small items. 
big pocket here, big pocket there, and then of course smaller organizational pockets in front of that. Now here's where the features really get unique for this pack. Of course this pocket organization, there's, the Hill People gear does not have this much organization in it at all. They have, they have very minimalistic pockets. This one has lots of pockets. And as you can see I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, so that gives you a lot of room. Now what really separates this from the Hill People gear is this panel right here is removable. You can see that there. Those little little locks come off, those little buckles, and then this panel can, complete, can be completely removed. But what's unique is this panel is, on the other side, a map panel. So you've got a clear pocket to put a map, which makes it really nice when you're hiking. And of course, there's Velcro paneling in the back, so if you want to carry a gun, you can. I'm gonna flip that around so you can see that. What's also unique is that this cord lock allows the the map panel to be adjusted so you can actually adjust the amount of opening on this if you want to go you want this to open further you can if you want it to open not as not as much you can adjust this cord by cinching this down and that that will take off the play in that cord and this will help control how much the, the pack actually opens up and I think that's a huge feature because if you're hiking around you don't want to open this thing up and have all your contents go spilling out all over the ground um, you want to be able to control how much you open this thing and this is going to allow you to do that and I think it's a really nice feature so just a little bit of everything in this pack an optional gun area, map, removable panel for organization, lots of pockets, pockets up front, molly on the front, just tons of different ways to configure this and different uh, for the different mounts of gear that you want to carry. You know, one thing has to be noted when we're talking about this bag is <clears throat> the the size that that this thing can accommodate as far as the size of the person that can wear this. Now, I wear a double XL jacket, um, broad shouldered, I'm six foot one, um, and this pack fits me nicely, but it is at its limit. I don't think I can go any much, any much further with this thing, so if I was to wear a bulkier coat, I wouldn't be able to wear it with this. Um, in the summertime it won't be a problem. I'll have more adjustment and be able to cinch it down a little bit more. But for the most part, it's at its limit. Um, I think that's a concern if you're a much bigger dude than me, you're not going to be able to wear this pack. So take that in consideration when you're looking at this as an option. The Hill People gear has much more adjustment and for a bigger dude. So that is um, a major point between these two packs. Now. Like I sh had shown you, there's just so much more organization in this pack there than there is the Hill People gear. You're going to get a ton of organization, and if you carry lots of little stuff, and I do, uh, this is going to be a great pack for you. And what I like about this is I don't have to necessarily carry a gun. It makes a really nice backpacking, hiking um, admin pouch that I can put of all my essentials and my navigation land nav stuff in and everything else um, I don't have to carry a pistol um, the pistol panel is optional that can come right out I can take that holster out the holster doesn't come with it of course take that out and uh, um, I just have a really nice little map uh, configuration that I can go hiking with um, but if I do want the extra security of carrying a pistol uh, my Glock fits in here real nicely um, and there's plenty of room for a bigger pistol as well I think you could probably definitely go with a full-size pistol on this no problem like a Glock 19 or even up to probably a 1911 and get it in there um, it might be a little tight but it'll fit now one thing about the Hill People gear they, theirs really is what I would consider a gun um, pouch and uh, they're definitely designed for quick draw. You can get to their pet, their pistol pretty quickly. This one, um, it's a little bit more cumbersome. You're going to have to manipulate two 
of the um, zippers and then you're going to have to get past this cord right here with your gun so that's going to be a consideration so what I do is I take my hand and I push down on it and that's my hand rests on that cord that way I make sure I'm clearing it when I'm drawing and then that's the way I'm able to draw the pistol but it fits in there really nicely very securely and very um, uh, I think it's um, you know it's, it doesn't scream gun this pack doesn't um, it, it just looks like some kind of hiking pack um, I love the molly on the outside <clears throat> that really adds with being able to add stuff to the pack with the hill people gear you have to actually go up a model and spend a little bit more money to get that to happen I think you have to go up to the recon which has molly on the front and that's a more expensive pack now as far as price this is much more affordable than the Hill People gear. This is only in the $70 range, somewhere in that neighborhood. I'll post an Amazon link down below for you. Um, whereas the Hill People gear, I think the starting pack is at $105, $110. So you're going to spend less going with the, the Helic and Tech. Um, overall, I'm really satisfied with it. It meets all my needs and criteria for a chest pack. Um, it's very comfortable. I don't notice it when I'm hiking. Um, I like wearing it, and it holds everything. All right, guys, that's today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out our Facebook group. That is growing, really getting big. Uh, a lot of fun on there, a lot of extra content, photos from uh, my um, video shoots, and then other people are sharing their content as well, which is nice. So you get to see stuff from around the world, actually. We have members from all over the globe who are members, and they're sharing their photos and their videos with us on there. So check out the Facebook group. Also check out my Instagram. That is growing as well. Lots of, lots of extra photos and content on that as well. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.